and once again, welcome to WRPB Studios and WRPB ITV. So, I dragged Luke back. I know that you saw his first video, okay, but he, there's so much to say, and we spoke about him and stuff, but I then went to visit his store, and while I was there, customers came in, and I'm going to let him tell you, but it's unlike other vitamin manufacturing uh, and supplement places I've went into. Hey, Luke. Hey. Good, Good to, to see you see again. again. Hey. Absolutely. Okay, so I came to visit you. Yes. Okay. So what makes your store different? Superset Sports Nutrition is a supplement store that provides the highest quality supplements and expert guidance um, no matter what fitness level or level of experience each client has. It was interesting because I was there, mm -hmm. and clients come in, yep. and they were look. you specifically said, what are you looking for? Directed them to actually three different things, yep. and then before you gave them a final decision or a final opinion, mm -hmm. you got much more detail from them to find out what path to take. Did you do that with all your clients, with all the customers? Yes. So we'll go into as much detail as someone wants. There's some people who come in and it'll just be a quick, what, what's the best product for whatever their situation is, and we'll give the quick recommendation of, of what we think. And we have some customers who will be there for an hour, hour and a half, and they want to hear the science behind it, the, <laughs> the real facts of each, and go through each individual supplement, and I can do that too. It's, I mean, it's, you did it with the three supplements that right. you told them. <clears throat> um, and I think, did correct me if I'm wrong, but they got to drink one, right? They try, yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, it was, what I found interesting about the store is that I guess those were newbies that have never been in there. Mm -hmm. So now they'll come back, but they'll know what they want. Right. But doesn't it change? Like, if you tell me, if I come in and I ask you something, and product A is the product I want, that you tell me is probably the best for me, will I always be on product A, or at some point in time will I... A change up and go to product B or product you know what I mean so it's it depends there's a few customers who will come in and consistently get the same products over and over a lot of people whether it's a pre-workout they'll develop a tolerance to it they're, they'll they'll want to try something else and especially in the supplement industry the products are always changing I mean it it's really it really is to very very it, it takes a lot of effort to stay up to date on the newest research and, and the newest, the studies that are coming out that shows something is going to build muscle quicker or something is going to help fat loss or cause lipolysis or, or whatever the, the individual is looking for. It takes a lot of effort to stay up to date on that research. Like technology. Yep, yeah, same, same <laughs> okay. type of thing. And it is technology. Yes. Okay, yep. it's technology. And so I was there and it's so far out of my wheelhouse, but I was listening to you talk to them and they were young guys okay and they seemed to get a grasp of what you were saying to them and what was cool about that was you might not notice it because you're there all the time but as an innocent bystander they were in tune with the things you were saying and listening okay it's not like you go into the store and you ask for something and then they try to tell you about it and then you're like rolling your eyes and whatever they were actually listening Picked up the products that you spoke about, okay, tasted, and then actually walked out with one of the choices that you'd made for them. Is it hard to decide what a newbie wants? I hate using that term. It's, um, well, it's someone, anyone who's or new needs. to fitness. Yeah. Um, no. It's, it's all about fact-finding, right? So it's all about finding their specific situation. So the more questions I ask, the better help I can I can provide them by gearing them towards so in my mind it's kind of narrowing down from say we start with the whole shelf right and then they decide they want to or they or they disclose that they want to burn fat then 
where we kind of narrow it down a little further. Then they say they have a, a specific condition like diabetes or something like that. Okay, well, that narrows the pile. So it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it narrows it down to just a few options. So it, it may be overwhelming seeing all those products, no, but, but, yeah, but knowing <coughs> what each specific one does in each circumstance is really what, what gives the customer a satisfactory product or, or happiness with the product. Okay, so you make your store what it is and you train your people so that your store is a store of information and knowledge. Absolutely. What else makes um, your place different from other vitamin and supplement places? I would say the, the interaction and the experience, the overall experience that people have. We're trying to build a relationship with the customers, not just not just recommend something and have them walk out the door, but know them when they come back, know what they took and and be able to to consistently recommend a better product for them if something comes out, to know their situation and to actually have a relationship with anyone who walks through our so, doors. <clears throat> what I got out of my visit there was you don't want to be a big box store. Right. Okay. There's a lot of personal interaction there mm, very yeah okay because we were i came to visit but we were kind of having a meeting right and the meeting was put aside for your customers mm -hmm. which i would expect nothing less from you um when it comes to product do you it's got to be millions of products out there oh tons how do you decide i mean i know you have a ton of knowledge but how do you decide which ones you're going to carry and which ones you're not going to carry so my typical criteria for choosing a product is going to start with if there's well it all comes down to the ingredients right that's the first that would be the first step that would have, we would go through to look through it to make sure it has the clinically efficacious dosages so what a lot of companies will do is basically label fluffing or kind of concealing different things by uh, proprietary blends so as long as it meets that standard then and you know it's a reputable company and all that then we'll contact them for samples get certificates of analysis and then it comes down to tasting it and making sure the product is as effective as it's claiming to be because any product could claim that it's boosts testosterone or does all these other things but it's it's the actual ingredient panels that's actually going to make a difference and and having the the reputation of actually putting what they say they put in it so there's a lot of trust that has to go on between there. So we're trying to, to build trust with the customer that they know if they come in and take something off the shelf, it's gonna be a product that works. That's that's really our goal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but for some reason I believe the supplement industry, the vitamin industry is not, doesn't have the overseeing that it should, okay? And again, when I walked into your place, it was like, okay, you had X products on that shelf for that one guy, and there were four, um, and then you, you cut it down to three, and then they walked out with one. Mm -hmm. um, is it not, for lack of a better word, governed the way it should be governed, that industry? There are a lot of loopholes that supplement companies are allowed to use. Just to use protein as an example, they can put whey protein right so you go to a, a different store and it says whey protein and then say you come to superset and it's a little bit more expensive and on the on the front they both say whey protein so you assume they're the same thing on the ingredient label one's going to say the one at my store is going to say whey protein isolate which means it's 90 percent bioavailable whereas if it says whey protein concentrate on the ingredient label it's only it has to be 20 percent bioavailable <laughs> that's almost a five time four and a half times difference of the amount of protein you're consuming but the actual grams of protein can both say 25 when you're getting five about five to seven and the other you're going to be getting 24. you know it's sad that this is our bodies and our health that anybody can carry supplements or vitamins okay you could go into the gas station right and buy vitamins off the shelf and that seems so dangerous to me okay because it's really important what we put in our bodies okay 
and in the industry that you're in, what you put in your body has to be a product that's going to show the results that you're looking for, which is what you, which is what your store's expertise are. Um, you have two stores. Yep. They both carry the same products. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so, the knowledge level in both stores is really the same. Yes. Okay, because you don't have to teach this one in this store and this one in that store. Right. Which one was your first store that you opened? The Vero Beach store. Okay. Um, so who who runs that when you're not there? Because I met you at the Port St. Lucie store. Right. So who's in that store? So I have my father actually running the Vero store for okay. me. And then I'm managing, since the Port St. Lucie store is a much bigger operation, that's the one that I'm controlling with all the employees and payroll and everything like that. Is it Port St. Lucie's bigger? Yes. Okay. So <coughs> we had spoken. I was quite impressed. I sent you an email today, okay, inviting you to meet some of the people that I think are clients that you should have and that you can help. Um, I don't know if you got my email. Did you? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Yep. I, saw um, I think it's really important. Well, what I've learned over my years is that it's who we connect with is where we see the changes and where we see the benefits. I belonged to a chamber of commerce in one area didn't make any money, it was treated like crap, and then I belonged to a chamber company in that era, treated like gold, met some of the nicest people. So I think that for you, because you have so much knowledge, and I don't even want to say, I don't even want to take down to stopping in the gas stations, okay? But even to going to one of the bigger box vitamin supplement places, um, and I can tell you stories that I had looking for certain products. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't give me the answers I needed. And I don't want to talk bad about anybody. But for me, because I've had a heart attack and triple bypass, I lost 40% of my lung function. I'm so particular about what I put in my body right. because I'm always scared. So, And there's more people like me out there. They're the people that really, I guess, you really want to focus on. Yeah. The ones that really care about what they're doing and not just, hey, look, I'm going to get this so I can have bigger arms or more. It's really not just about that. No, it's about living a healthy lifestyle. It's, and like you said, you, you want to trust and, and know the person who's giving you advice or recommending a supplement is, has the knowledge to recommend that supplement for your specific condition. If he's not asking questions... If they can't answer the question why, that's my general rule of thumb. If someone can't ask, ask, answer the question why, then they probably should not be recommending that product. Okay, so let's clarify that. Sure. So I come into the store and I say, I'm looking to burn fat. Okay? Yep. And you give me product A. And, and I'm just trying to clarify this, what sure. you just said. You hope that I say, well, why does that do that? Right. And if I can't answer that, mm -hmm. then there's there's some sort of deceit. There's there's something. If I can't give a reason for why I'm recommending that specific product, like you said, you're putting it in your body. It's not something to play around with or just kind of take it lightly. Right. I'm you totally know, you're agree. ingesting something. So the ingredients are extremely important to understand and know what they do. It's... Everyone's situation is very, very different. So that, that's my biggest recommendation for everyone is just to ask why. Ask what it's going to do and why. Interesting. And I'm just, common sense would tell me if I go into a quote-unquote big box vitamin stuff, there's no way that you know every product and what everything does. You who know it, how do you keep, you, can't, you just can't. Right. So I can't believe that the people in those stores are that knowledgeable that they know everything. The products that you carry, you research every single one of them? Yeah, but there, there's always going to be a situation where someone comes in with um, some sort of you know, disorder. They just got diagnosed with something. Uh, we've had a specific situation, which I won't get into details, but it was a pretty drastic situation at my Vero store about one year in, and... 
my my biggest thing is honesty. If I don't know the answer, I'm not I'm not gonna make a recommendation. I will tell the customer that I will do my research. You know, I'll look I'll look into it and get back to them on what I think is best, or possibly even make a recommendation for them to speak to their doctor and make a recommendation to their doctor, um, which is a fine line. But it's <laughs> so the okay. So that person told you what the situation was. Then you did the research on it? Yes. Okay, so now, I don't know how rare it was or whatever, but now, if someone comes in, you have that knowledge. Right. Okay? You can't know everything. It's just impossible. And if you expand your product too much, you're going to dilute yeah. what you know. And you guys don't do that. Because I listen to you talk, even though I don't understand you. But that's, <laughs> that's just me. Okay, you have two locations. You want to give with the addresses and the phone numbers? Sure. The locations? Yep. The Vero Beach location is 980 14th Lane, Vero Beach. And the Port St. Lucie location is 1399 Northwest St. Lucie West Boulevard in St. Lucie West. And the phone number for Vero Beach is 772-794-1711. The Port St. Lucie phone number is 772-879-9767. Well, thank you so much for coming thank back on. Thank you for on. having me, Wayne. I have to tell you, always use a pro. If you don't, it's going to cost you 10 times more and 20 times more aggravation. And those numbers have increased because it's a new year. So use a pro. And I can tell you, he, the numbers are there. Give them a call. If you have a question, call one of the stores. They'll be able to at least give you the answer. Whether you buy from them or not, look, they make money as an indirect benefit of doing what. It's right for the people that come to the store. That's why you need to use a professional. With that, everybody have a great day. Lucas, great seeing you again. Thank and we'll you. be right back.